Hello there people, Frankly Uber here. And yep, today is my first day of Uber. So I um, I left uh, my place uh, to pick up the uh, rental car that I'm using now, which is a Toyota Prius. Yep, a Toyota Prius, guys. And uh, yeah, so I rented my car through Drover. And um, yeah, uh, they sent me all the documents by email, but they, they, they messed up in fairness because um, the, the people that I'm picking up the vehicle, or the company I'm picking up the vehicle from, actually cancelled the booking. So obviously, the car that I wanted to take out, I couldn't take out because, uh, yeah, it, uh, the, uh, the uh, company cancelled it. So anyway, I. Um, I spoke to Drover and they sorted it out. They were, they were expecting me to pay the 30 pounds extra for another car. I said, no, you lot messed up, so you need to sort it out with the owner. So um, I put the phone to the owner uh, to speak to Drover and they sorted it out. And um, yeah, all good. So so then I had to go to the Greenlight Hub, Uber's Greenlight Hub that is, uh, which my appointment was at four o'clock, but because of the hoo-ha, uh, you know, sending my documents, uh, my documents through to me again, took half an hour so I was late my, my appointment was at four o'clock I ended up arriving there at 4 30 but Uber were cool um, you know it really wasn't much to it really some people were helpful some people weren't in terms of uploading the documents so but I uploaded them myself so and it took a few hours actually so what's the time now 7 35 so I uploaded the documents at about five o'clock so five or six o'clock and it looks as though it's been approved now but anyway I'm heading home now back to Reading because um, yeah, I couldn't be bothered to wait, but I probably will go out to work shortly. Uh, let's go home first, have a have a bit of a rest. It's been a long day, so have a bit of a rest, have something to eat, and then go out to work. Uh, but yeah, I would recommend Drover as a temporary solution for you. Uh, you can find the link at the bottom of this um, of my YouTube uh, channel. Um, and obviously, if you sign up with Drover and use my codes. Uh, which I will flash over here. Then, yeah, um, you'll you'll get fifty pounds uh, off your rental, and I'll also get fifty pounds if you sign up on your own. You're not going to get nothing. So, which I did, I signed up on my own. Didn't use someone's code because I didn't know there was a referral scheme for it. Uh, but yeah, so sign up with uh, with my code, and you'll get fifty pounds, and I'll get fifty pounds as well off my rental which will help because you need to put a deposit down of about 200 pounds depending on what type of vehicle you go for. Uh, the good thing about Drover is that you don't have to pay that 200 pound deposit in one full whack, you can pay in installments. And obviously the longer you rent out the vehicle, the cheaper it will be. So I've rented the, this vehicle out for four weeks and yeah, so I've got a bit of a discount. So I'm paying 194 pounds a week. So hopefully I can make that up in terms of um, the jobs that I do for Uber and Amazon Flex, whilst of course <laughs> working my full-time job. Uh, so the way I'm going to work it right now is that uh, before I start my full-time jobs, so I'll wake up early in the morning and try and catch some jobs for Uber, and then go in for nine o'clock for my full-time job. And then obviously in the weekends I'll do my Amazon Flex. Um, I've got a uh, block on Saturday, uh, nine till one. It's going to be a crap block I know that for a fact already because so far all the nine o'clock blocks that I've done have been pretty crap um, basically you get the spill-offs of um, of the day of the evening before so th for those drivers who are going to uh, deliver their parcels for whatever reason whether the customer's not in or they couldn't find the property or you know whatever or just didn't have enough time to deliver they'll spill off till the morning and um, I'll probably be doing that and um, I just saw from my last video, I drove 109 miles to do my deliveries, which was crap. But I mean, Amazon compensated me for that because I went an hour over my um, my block time, and they gave me 26 quid. So yeah, not bad going. Thank you, Amazon, for that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll let you know how my Uber journey pans out. In which case, now for those of you who want to drive for Uber, again, there's a link there below. Uh, you know and if you use my codes uh, you'll get a referral boat I'll get a referral bonus and you'll also get a bonus at the moment the going rate is about 300 pounds so that all helps out 
for when you start, obviously, when you start out, you do you complete your 100 trips, obviously, you've paid money for your, uh, for your license, you know, you've paid money for your DBS, you, you pay money for your medical, uh, therefore, that 300 pounds will come in handy. And obviously, for, and if you're renting a car, if you don't have a car, then obviously, you know, that, will, that will help you as well. Uh, if you could, once you've completed a certain amount of trips, I think at the moment it's what 100 trips you need to complete. But yeah, guys, um, thank you very much for your support so far. Uh, for those who have uh, been patient and waited for this time for Uber, and for those who have been supporting me and watching my videos through Amazon Flex, again, thank you so much. I will continue to, to keep you updated on Amazon Flex as well as doing Uber. So you've got the best of both worlds. I mean, if you haven't got a full-time job and you're doing Amazon Flex, you're doing your 24-hour blocks and you do Uber, you know, you can, you can earn some good money. Well, again, this is from what I hear anyway, uh, going by uh, Driver Joe and some other guys on the um, YouTube channel. You, know, you can earn some good money as a self-employed driver, courier, whatever have you. Um, obviously, you've got to weigh down the pros and cons of it all, how much you spend on fuel, uh, the wear and tear in the car, you know, all these expenses that will add up. So you need to consider that. But I'll give you more detail on that as and when I start doing this properly. So as I said, I'll probably do this tonight as my first go for Uber and then uh, carry on Friday, Saturday. And um, I don't know if I can do it on Sunday because I'll be taking the family out on Sunday. So um, we're going to go to Legoland and take my little boy and my little girl there. So yeah, guys, um, as I said, thank you very much. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. It's Frankly Uber here. Flex on. And Uber on, as Uberman says.